In this video, we will be going over how to log in and set up your BYOL VN S3 controller in AWS. First, navigate to the Instances page in the AWS EC2 console. Once you have launched your VN S3 controller, make sure TCP port 8000 is open in your cloud security groups. For best practice, we recommend only opening this port to the public IP you will be using to access the web UI or API. Make sure your controller is in a subnet that has internet access. To ensure this, check your AWS routing table associated with the subnet where your VNS3 controller lives. You will need a route to 0000/0 with the internet gateway as the target. In your web browser, navigate to the public IP associated with your controller using HTTPS on port 8000. You will arrive at the VNS3 login page. The default username is VNS cubed and in AWS, the default password is the instance ID. We recommend changing this password before moving forward. Note in the event you forget or misplace your UI and or API password. They can be reset via AWS user data. Navigate to the Upload License tab. Cohesive Support will share an encrypted license file with you. Paste the file contents into the white box, then click Submit. The default encrypted overlay network CIDR is shown on the screen. If you would like to change this network CIDR, select the custom radio button and fill out the text boxes accordingly. Otherwise, select the pre-configured default radio button, then submit and reboot. After the license is imported and VNS3 reboots, you will need to generate a key set and set up controller peering. Select generate new in the left column. Name your controller and enter a security token. This security token will only be used if you are peering in other VNS3 controllers into this topology and is recoverable from the peering page. Generating the key set creates cryptographic tokens for the VNS3 peering mesh as well as the encrypted overlay network. The last step is to set up controller peering. Select controller peering in the left column. Set controller ID 1 to this instance, then save changes. This gives the controller its identity in your new topology. In this example, we are using a medium enterprise edition license. The VNS3 platform is priced differently than other security or multi-cloud appliances. We price based on network complexity. The number of multi-cloud peers, overlay clients, IPsec connections, plugins, and firewall capabilities all contribute to the license price to ensure your VNS3 network is always the right size. If you will be setting up point-to-site VPNs via WireGuard or site-to-site -site IPsec VPNs, you will need to stop source destination checking on the instance. You will also need to allow UDP port 51820 in your security groups for WireGuard connections. For site-to-site -site IPsec connections, you'll need to allow UDP port 500 and UDP port 4500 for NAT traversal, or UDP port 500 and ESP protocol 50 for native IPsec. Links to additional information and documentation can be found in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please email cohesive support at support at cohesive.net. Thank <laughs> you.